first pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. Today's starting pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. Singy, always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to adapt to him today. The wind of the pitch. Vaughn Grissom leading things off and takes a strike. All ones the count. Next offering is in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. All right, Texas. And the 0-2. Just misses with that one. And a ball evens the count. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Here's Nick Solak. That clips the zone. 0-1. DeGrom, a former Cy Young Award winner, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a curb, and he works in a two-seamer. The wind and the pitch. Got a ball, one strike. That one, a triple digits. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. That's a laser base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. The next oh. pitch misses, one and one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. And the righty deals. Right. Upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Pitch misses, three and one. On the ground, the third might be two. On to Simeon. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. Back here at the ballpark and on the hill in this one, Kyle Wright. Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss, get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. We go to the bottom of the first. Stepping in, Marcus Simeon. Just missed. That 
to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. That one's in there, 0-1. pitch and takes low for ball one the pitch hacks and misses it's a strikeout no, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. So one out with two aboard. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Down the line towards the corner. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Runner tagging for third, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits, and Singy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. I mean, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance to get something going. Josh Young up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. That one off the mark. Two balls and a strike. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. the 2-1. There's a strike. Two on, two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. The belt and fires. Out to short. Grissom whips it to first on the run. And that will end the inning. We head to the second in Arlington. No score. 
Welcome back. Top of the second. Here's Matt Olson. The right-hander back to work. That catches the corner. Matt Olson, a guy who grew up in the Atlanta area, went to the same high school that produced Jeff Francoeur, and in fact, Jeff's mom was one of Matt Olson's teachers in grade school. The 1-1. One -one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The why to kick the pitch. That's Just missed. When Olsen was traded to the Braves from the Oakland A's, Frank Cora's mom texted Brian Snicker and said, you're going to love Matt Olsen. On the ground to the left. On the run, throw to first. And Olsen is set down. That is it. The designated hitter, Marcel Ozuna. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Hard ground ball, base knock. Waste no time there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here's Austin Riley. There's a strike. Well, who would have thought Jacob deGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth-round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. <laughs> Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, Boog, just incredible. You look at that benchmark of 200 innings, comfortably over that Three. in 2018 with 217, and the sub-2 ERA, just impressive at 1.70 to lead the league. Here's Murphy now. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. Oh, right to the backstop. And two in scoring position now, thanks to that wild pitch. <laughs> Second inning here, no score. That one finds the corner. And it's one and one. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. In there at the knees. One and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. That one just misses, and the count is even two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close. And that one gets away at the plate. But all the runners hold. Two outs. Swing and a miss, struck him out. 
Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And welcome back. And now here's the veteran DH, Brad Miller. The wind of the pitch. A little bit low. Left hand batter waits. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Acuna moving back, and it's gone. A solo shot, his fourth home run of the season. It's 1-0. He throws a pretty hard slider, but when it doesn't break, it's just like a good fastball to hit. And right there, eyes got big. Hit that ball really hard, and now he's getting high fives in the dugout. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Foul ball. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's inside. Oh, that's inside. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Up the middle. All these. Jump throw. Awesome play there. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Next to hit, Travis Jankowski. First offering, and it just misses. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Batting nine. No left fielder. Bubba. Here's Bubba Thompson. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Let's go, Fly ball down the line. And Acuna able to make the grab. And there's two down. No batter. Number two, second baseman, Marcus. Now it's Marcus Simeon. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And first offering is fouled off. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Right, checks over to first, and he's back. 
Jankowski the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch has popped up. Olsen makes the grab and that's the inning. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. It's now a one nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Back here at the ballpark, here's Kevin Pillar. The center fielder, Kevin Pillar. DeGrom back to work. High fly ball right field. Garcia settles under it. And that'll get down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The batter. The back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Here's the shortstop at the play. Vaughn Grissom. First pitch, and he just misses. Pilar on the move. Ball outside, and he throws it away. Lead runner around second. I think a good throw to second base has a chance to catch him right there, so that's a throw he's going to walk back behind the dish. And you roll the dice when you send the runner, but oftentimes you're trying to force some action, and it worked out great for him right there. Good hitters count the 2 0. In the air, left field. Thompson under this one. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. A big run scores on the sack fly. It's 1 1. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Nick Solak. Ball one, no strikes. You know, if in fact Jacob deGrom adds to his Cy Young total as a Ranger, he'll become the first Ranger ever to win the Cy Young Award, and that would leave only the Colorado Rockies as a team that does not boast the Cy Young Award winner. And a one two. That's ball two. Tied up here in the early going. Misses inside. And that's ball three. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Acuna in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. is in there that is strike two and a swing and a miss and that's that one run one hit one error no one left we move on to the bottom of inning number three all tied one one
Welcome back. Now the number Pretty two hitter, the Ezekiel Duran. Not shortstop. Duran batting second in today's lineup. Usually a second baseman, but today starting at shortstop. And there's a strike. Well, some people think this is no big deal, but I think when you consider the longer throw, the fact that you've got to be able to cover up the middle to your left, it's a big adjustment for him. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Hit hard on the ground to short. On to first. One up, one down. Now that the first baseman. Here's Nathaniel Lowe, and he's already singled in this game. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. First offering misses the mark. Well, made it so comfortable for his club to secure that win. Very fresh team today, and it doesn't have to be all on him, but the way he's been swinging it, I expect him to have another big one. Ball to strike. And a big swing and a miss. Next one off the plate inside. And that's ball two. Next offering is fouled back. Just off the inside corner, and the count's full. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Got him, and there's two away. Really good battle right there, and that final pitch now probably could have gone either Mike way. Cooper. He was hoping he'd get ball four. It. Instead, the umpire Go rings him up for the backwards K. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. He's 0 for 1. Garcia, a former All-Star, 30 years old now, and he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last 10 games. Righty delivers. Off the mark there. And the count is one and one. Out towards right center field. And that is that. Rangers go down quickly there. Score remains tied 1-1. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Matt Olson. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. When you think about the best defensive first baseman of the game, Olsen is certainly in the conversation. He's won multiple gold gloves over there, and it seems like he picks everything. One of those guys that the infielders love because he makes that third baseman, shortstop, and second baseman even better, saving those errors. Here's the 0-2. One ball, two strikes. hit center field around first and hustling for second and he's got a leadoff double all over that one right there fastball pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter so no surprise he put a great swing on it
Go ahead, run on base. Marcelo Zuna. Next up for the Braves. Now to short. Over to low. Oh. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Now batting the third baseman. Austin. Here's the third baseman, Riley. Austin Riley. Struck out swinging his first time. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And now it's even up. That one drifts inside. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is foul back. Here's the 2-2. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And that gets away from Garver. Probably ruled a pass ball as the runner moves up to third. Olsen stands at third with one gone in the inning. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. Got him swinging. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two-out at bat coming up now. Here's Sean Murphy. Picked up a base hit to center his first time off. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. Hard liner. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Braves strand one. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. Ready to go, bottom four. Here's Josh Young. The third baseman. Young. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Oh. Well, these Rangers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. One is fouled off. Liner, base hit. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Brad Miller now. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Ball one low. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand.
Ground ball could be two. To second, there's one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Now batting, catcher, Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver stepping in for the Rangers. That's in there. Strike one. Riding to the plate. There's the swing and a miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. Next offering is outside. Swings and misses, struck him out. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. We go to the top of the fifth. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Ozzie. Singy, this guy, Ozzie. Ozzie Albies, he is Mr. Personality. So much flair and that giant smile on the field. First nope. pitch That's just good. misses. For me, one of the things I really enjoy is just the banter that he has with third base coach Ron Washington, who's helped him tremendously defensively at second base. This one popped up. Duran has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there, and I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Now in for the Braves, Kevin Pillar. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Swings through that one. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And now 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Vaughn Grissom. And hey. there's the strike. All ones the count. And a pitch. That All just one. misses. And one and one. On the ground, right side. He takes it on his oh. own, and it's a 1 2 3 inning for the Braves. Braves go down quickly here. Score remains deadlocked at one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's a speed threat Travis Jankowski. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. 
Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that ball. Into the outfield base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And stepping in is the speedy Bubba Thompson. Flied out his first time. And takes low for ball one. Ball one, no fight. extra bases makes the turn at second heads for third throw comes in runner stop second and third nobody out two consecutive base hits for these guys here just a cookie down the middle I mean those are the ones you dream about the ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game right down the middle not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it a chance now to take the lead and at this point in the game that could be a deciding run Here is Marcus Simeon, one for two. And that's in there for strike one. On the ground, out to short. On the run, sends it over to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. So digging in, Ezekiel Duran. Ezekiel Duran. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Sometimes a hitter will go up there and guess, and it's not just pulling something out of the sky, but expecting because of tendencies a certain pitch in a certain location. He just guessed wrong. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Thompson leads off second with one gone in the inning. And that is cut on and missed. One and two. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Crush that pitch. Let's go. Runner leads away at second. Check swing. No appeal. Just missed the inside corner, and the count's full. Runner at second here, one gone. Got him looking. Now two out. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Runner takes off. Breaking ball, and that got him. Boo, you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Garcia, the next to hit, takes outside. One and no count. Look for him to be aggressive here. You got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. Runners on the move. Cut on and miss. 
One and one. Throw to third. Save. Double steal. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, and that's how you steal third base. And he deals just off the outside edge. The 2 1. Swung on, belted. Pilar going back, racing back some more. Looking up, pulls it in on the warning track. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We're through five. It's the Rangers two and the Braves one. Back here at the ballpark, top of the sixth inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Nick Solak. Solak. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. <laughs> fouled off down the right side. The 2 Got him! Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. 0-1. So, Boog, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, Siggy, I dig it. The Braves base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. It kind of represents the Venezuelan flag, the country that he hails from. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Here is Matt Olson. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Next offering is fouled back. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And the right hater deals. Hammer, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. second here with two away and now it's the Braves DH Marcelo Zuna that pitch gets the corner that's strike one Olsen at second with two down and he grounds one to the right side third out He's out so they can't do anything with a two-out double. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up.
It's the Rangers two and the Braves one. Well, we go bottom six Leading down the third baseman, Rangers, Josh Young. The third baseman, Josh Young. Right back to work. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next, it'll be the Texas DH. Brad Miller, he launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Miller in his 10th season 33 years old and he's been on a good run at the plate hitting over 325 in his last 10 games nobody out runner at first it, next offering is foul back The 0-2. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. And the pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Rudder at first with no outs here. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him full. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Mitch Garver. Watch the DK. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. One run game, one out, one on. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. And there's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. He was all over that one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Ryan Stinker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Kyle Wright will depart, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Colin McHugh. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. Here's a strike. Right-handed reliever. 
fouls one off out of play back to our left. Oh, and two now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 0-2. And misses inside. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And now the count is even. One out. Runners at first and second. Line drive. Base hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Up next for the Rangers, Bubba Thompson. This one in the air center field. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Base runner decided to test him, and it was a bad decision. Outstanding throw on a frozen rope at home. That'll end the inning with a bang. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Rock Burke. Well, you see the ERA very solid, and that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And a foul ball. In the air, right field. Garcia heads after it. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there, can really settle in. Murphy in the box again takes a strike that slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch if you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate it can get hit a long way but that was a good one right there and puts the squeeze on that one and a couple of quick outs not fooled at all right there he was clearly all over it but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone you're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes Albies lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Next pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. The tying run at the plate. Fouls one off. Two and two. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one to first. 
He handles it himself, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Braves, and they trail it here 2-1. to one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Joe Jimenez. Going to be a tough matchup for him right here. Right-handed hitters have been having a lot of success against him so far this season. Marcus Simeon now at the plate. One for three. The second baseman. Marcus Simeon. Pitch. Ball one there. Let's go, Texas. And it's even up. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a miss. One ball, two straight. And that one is inside. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. 2 2 now. Simeon waits. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Durant batting with one down takes a strike. Lifted in the air right center field. Pilar gliding as he moves to his left. Hauls it in and there's two away. Now batting first baseman. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. In the air to left center. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Man in scoring position with two away. Adolis Garcia, the next to hit. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he could turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. He gets the attention to walk here and now a force at any base with two gone. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Young in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And there's a ball. Kicks and deals. On the ground to third. Steps on the back for the force. And that is the inning. Rangers leave a pair, but they still lead it two to one.
Jose LeClaire. On to pitch out of the pen here. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. Pitch hitter coming on, Travis Darno. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Two one now. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. This one chopped up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the shortstop, Vaughn Grissom. And that's outside. in for a strike and now it's even one and one well we call that key holding even though it's right there and looks pretty good if he doesn't love it he's not going to swing that early in the count the one one late that time and it's strike one two cuts and misses it's a strikeout well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Now the left fielder, Nick Solak. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent well, extra bases. And the 1 0. That one missed. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Oh. 2 0. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's Acuna now. In for a strike. It's 0-1. That's a big run over there at first base. He's got some speed. Let's see if they send it. one that's down and in with a single base runner because of all the power they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead now fly ball to right center touches down that's a hit headed for the plate he'll score and they've tied it it's 2-2 two -two. well there you go the RBI machine another clutch run scoring it back yeah he's been so good in these situations Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So, runner at second, two down. And here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Two down, go ahead, run, and score in position. Cap dances out of the way of that one. One, 
one is fouled off. Man on second, two down. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Young pulls it down, and that's the third out. The Braves add one on the RBI double. 2-2 Two -two game. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Dylan Lee. He last pitched two days ago. Number 52, Dylan Lee. Now into the game, Michael Harris. He'll be patrolling center field. Number 23. Brad Miller stepping in for the Rangers. He's already homered in this game. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Here comes a pitch. And he chases that one below the zone. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. And yeah, the count even one and one. The pitch. And a count one and two. Next offering is foul back. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Next up for Texas, Mitch Garver. Swing and a foul straight back. Next offering misses, ball one. One ball, one strike. Kicks and fires. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. Here's a one two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Murphy makes the grab for the second out. Center fielder, number 16. Here's the center fielder, Travis, Travis Jankowski. Beautiful okay. swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. That one lifted to left. Solak under it. And that is the inning. And the Rangers set down in order. And this game is still tied at two and two. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna. And a pitch. And ball one.
Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Substitution being made at first. Pinch running here. Sam Hilliard. Number 14. No outs. Runner at first. And now it's going to be Austin Riley. Swings through that one. 0-1. And the righty deals. Pitches in for a strike, and a count is 0-2. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. Good eye right there. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. One one is fouled off. And a pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. One two now. Swing and a miss. Stop him out. Slider got him for strike three. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, but get back on track. His team needs him. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Sean Murphy. In the air, left side. Thompson gets there. He's under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now that second base. Ozzy Albies next up for the Braves. Runner on the goal. Pitch outside. Go to second. Out there. And the inning is over. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Jesse Chavez. And he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. And now, Bubba Thompson. Now this guy, a player that... If he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Right into the plate. On the ground. Grissom fires to first on the run. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Number two, second baseman, Marcus. Here's the Simeon. second baseman, Marcus Simeon. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. They say you win. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Nick Anderson getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Iglesias getting cranked up as well. At the belt and fires. Popped in the air, left side. Grissom in position. Squeezes it. Two down. Now batting, shortstop, Ezekiel 
Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. In there for strike one. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Way out front for strike two. And the next pitch is way outside. In the air, out towards right center. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is the third out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. And welcome back. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Ozzie Albies. The pitch. Just it's off the hard inside hard. edge. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Nick Anderson getting loose out there. Iglesias getting loose as well. The 1 0. That one pushed to the left and foul. One one is fouled off. And he deals. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. And now it's filled up. Michael Harris waiting for a turn at the plate. Three two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Man at second. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, and that's a foul ball. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. And here in the 10th, the leadoff man is out. The back. The center fielder. Michael. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Came into the game on defense. So his first trip to the plate here. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order. Struggling as of late. But a knock here would be a huge... Makes the grab, and there's two out. So two down now, and here is Vaughn Grissom. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Oh, and this one gets away. But no advance. That's ball one. Two outs. Line to right, base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's 3-2. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So two down, Nick Solak will hit next. New pitcher on now, Jonathan Hernandez. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Tapped softly on the ground. 
Over to Lowe. And the inning is over. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Rysel Iglesias. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure. This one, is Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. That misses, and now 2-0. And now two balls and a strike. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Next offering upstairs. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Adolis Garcia waiting to hit for the Rangers. 3-1 is on the way. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. You make the team earn their way out. First and second, no outs. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Pitch misses, ball one. Another ball, way to lay off that pitch down. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. This is again five in a row. It's on its way out of here. Ball game. A three-run rocket, and the Rangers walk it off in extra innings. to extra innings it seems like every guy is trying to come up with the big swing to hit the homer and end the ball game well he did it huge swing of the bat and we're all heading home A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.